Hello, I'm Toycat, and welcome back to another third channel mobile game video. Today I wanted to check out a game that is super interesting to me because I really enjoyed Mini Metro, but the sequel, which is like Mini Motorway, is only available on Apple, so instead I'm checking out Traffics, which is a Google Play Arcade equivalent, hopefully at least, and it's about traffic management, something which I admittedly have a kind of dumb interest in. I really find it to be very interesting, the idea of like managing people getting places. I like transport, I like getting places, people where they want to go, partly because, I mean, I enjoy going places, I enjoy traveling, so why would I not enjoy helping other people do it? But also because there's just kind of like a logic puzzle to it that I'm hopefully uh, going to see right here. So we can set a light to green, we can set a light to orange, or we can set it to red, is what I've understood so far. But yeah, I'm super interested to see how this game does go overall, and maybe all of you are too. Also, I just realized how bad the lighting is in my current setup. I'm going to take a second and fix that. Okay, whatever, apparently the lighting's just gonna be kind of rough over here. Anyway, so as you can see, it's a traffic light. Did you guys know how those worked? I didn't. Did you know they have three colors? Who can, who can pay attention to that many? So, impatient drivers get angry, and angry drivers is an incident that we, we can't allow to have, which I guess makes sense. You don't wanna upset your population, or they'll get rid of you. Oh, okay, so, <laughs> you gotta, you've also gotta get rid of crashed cars, and that counts as an incident. And you can have 10 per level, so drivers are sneaky, Sometimes two drivers manage to pass a yellow light. So, we're gonna turn it to yellow, and sometimes... Oh no, that's fine, look, there we go. This is, this is great, everything is going wonderfully right now. Okay, so I, I actually kind of get what's happening right here. The, the goal is managing intersections. <laughs> and I can see where this can be stressed, because even with one intersection, you can see that there's like at least some amount of challenge here. But if you have multiple intersections, ah, that was a sneaky driver again. Um, when you have multiple intersections, <laughs> you can imagine how fast this will get crazy. So, again, the game the game seems kind of good. I don't like the unskippable tutorial thing. I wish it just told me, here is traffic lights. Do you, do you guys know how those work? Okay, you can move into it. But I think, I think mobile games force you into tutorials because they know that people skip them, regardless of whether or not they know what's actually going on. So... Maybe that's why they have to do stuff like this. So yeah, um, we it, it even it literally follows the mini metro system of even using real places around the world. I mean, this is called Berlin, although there's literally no way you could equate this with being Berlin, right? Like nothing about this yells Berlin to me. Okay, we're gonna slide in the, the truck through there. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that, but we're fine. <laughs> like there's there's nothing about this level that makes it particularly Berlin or German. You're not like, oh yes, these are German cars going. It's just like no, this is. This is a thing that's a thing uh, that we're going to have to live with, apparently. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm super interested in uh, transport. I find it to be one of those interesting things because the systems that we think about sometimes um, are not the ones that are, like, the most impactful on our life. Like, oh, that's going to make cause... <laughs> going to cause some issues. The, there are so many systems that, like, have a day-to-day -day impact on everyone around us, uh, you know, life, but we just assume, like, oh, yeah, they just, they just work by themselves. No one has to deal with those, and so no one ever gets, like excited about public transport. No one ever gets excited about how to like passionately build, you know, how to effectively build junctions for traffic, even though that's something we should have a lot of people excited in, because those are the things that can really make really tiny but important differences to people's days. Like sometimes um, we get trapped on the idea that every change, every difference you have to make in the world has to be huge, has to be so important. Also, we got two stars, so it's like a free star mobile game. It's, it's kind of interesting the, the blend we got here. So this is Rome now. Just got to get 15 cars to their destination, except, oh god, it's a roundabout, but we only control one of the the things. That's easy enough to do, apparently. But, um, yeah, no, like, uh, sometimes we get caught up in the fact that, like, everything we do has to be the most important thing that anyone has ever done. But I, I don't think that's true. I think sometimes the small jobs are the ones that are most important in some ways. Um, you know, being really passionate about, like, your small area of the world is something is that is kind of essential. And then maybe we should encourage and reward. I think we can do this level without uh, any accidents. That's my high quality professional opinion. And as long as cars don't do that thing where they like, two of them go at once at a stoplight, uh, or a yellow I guess I should say, we should be fine. Yeah, look at my, look at my precision traffic light ability. I should be a traffic light, you know? That's, what do I want to be when I grow up? I want to be a whole traffic light. Please don't go through, okay, we're fine. <laughs> so again, as long, as cars aren't sneaky, things go fine. So, I'm ex again, this is, right now, things are pretty basic. I'm literally just tapping a single button and hoping for the best. Um, I'm really curious to see, like, how big this game can go. Like, we're all, we're all on board the basic challenge. Okay, Traffics was 
by two passionate developers, enlighten us by rating our game. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Safely guide 30 cars to the destination in Jakarta. Again, this is not really Jakarta to me, but... Oh, it's kind of like the whole pat your head and rub your belly at the same time, where it's like, ooh, can you do two separate inputs? Sometimes one can go, and sometimes the other can go, and you gotta know which one's where... No, 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 okay. Oops. <laughs> you gotta know which one is when. Which is kind of fun, I guess. You know, honestly, let's just set it to green all the time, and then let's, let's set it to red when it needs to be. That seems like a smart solution to me, right? And, okay, no, this, that, that does not work in the slightest. But yeah, um, there's an interesting thing where, like, sometimes uh, we assume erroneously that everything that is important in the world is grand and huge. Um, and, you know, like, there are some serious, like, you know, like, if you're... There are moments where it feels like, um, you know, what's the point of even trying if you're not going all the way? But a lot of, like, really important impacts can be made by... Oh, okay, I made another mistake. <laughs> a lot of very important impacts... Oh, Christ, that was so close to a thing happening right there. I feel like a lot of very important impacts can be had by working on the smaller things. Um, okay, let that car through there, let that... Okay, you know, this is going through too, sure. <laughs> um, there's, uh, you know, like, maybe it's just something I've learned because of my time on YouTube, but, like, the things that seem really small, the things that have seemed, like, entirely non-things to me, just, like, a video where I'm just talking about a thing, can have the bigger impacts than, like, the things that you work on for weeks and you think are so important. Like, your understanding of the scale of what you're doing is very warped. And maybe that's, maybe it's especially me because... I technically work in a creative field where the input and outputs are so unrelated sometimes, or at least it feels that way. Okay, slide through there. Oh yeah, this is... I'm seeing the challenge! Damn it. Now... <laughs> I actually... You know, even with like fairly simple roads, I'm starting to make a lot of mistakes because they're such unlinked challenges, you know? Like, oh yeah, trying to get these cars going on the left is very different to this thing in the center. Um, but maybe that's part of the fun. Okay, slide through, slide through. Um, I'm, I'm liking it actually. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking the game so far. It's, it's a very, very basic one. I was, I was hoping for much bigger. I was hoping for actually being able to plan your own city or something like that. Like actually making a, making your own thing from scratch. Again, I was hoping mini metro, but with other things. But instead, this is like a junction manager. In fact, the, the, the link to cars is kind of next to none, right? Like. This could easily not be a car game. This could easily be a game about, or, um, I don't know, letting protons fly through an electric pipe. I know how electricity works, trust me, I, I, I definitely do. Um, but yeah, we're, we, we're doing it right now, there's no road rage at least. Let's do another level with no crashes. Let's, let's prove our ability here, shall we? Okay, there's cars going that way, cars going that way. We just gotta slide in the gaps. Is there any other challenges that I'm missing? No, oh, there's not, it's fine. Everything's oh, okay. Let's let's try this level again. You don't you didn't see that start. That was just me Yeah, it, it looks pretty complex, but this is actually the most basic one so far. It's literally just two unconnected roads um, I think at least maybe maybe it'll all come in more complex later Maybe the speed is higher and that's why it's meant to be a challenge uh, Or maybe the gaps are fewer and further between I, I think that's actually what it is. Yeah, okay now we'll change that to red Slide a car in there. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh god, <laughs> two cars went at once and they both got messed up. I guess yeah, this is this is gonna be a road rage inducing level. I guess if I'm not careful. Oh, I, what did I do? How did I cause ten accidents? <laughs> oh, because I don't think I, I I don't think I got rid of the accident cars. I forget that's on me as the as the road planner to to deal with. Disagree with that responsibility, but that's fine. But yeah, um. I, th I think there's like a, a whole world of like improvements you can make uh, out there, and uh, okay, we sometimes will only focus on the most okay readily uh, visible because the you know like the the things that are most visible feel like the biggest of deals, but I think I think like I I, I try to think the other way like if it's so visible that everyone can see it then someone's, someone's got that dealt with already you would hope at least i gotta let this car through um i guess there's no road rage yet there's oh, about to be some road rage about to be some road rage okay if they crash they can't have road rage that is <laughs> that is technically true right oh my god this is this is actually a it's such a simple level but just by having so much traffic 
Uh, they have managed to make it um, a real challenge for me. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's happening. Carl's, Carl's again through these gaps. Oh, yeah, there we go, we're good, we're good. Okay. Please get through. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is this is what I'm here for. Look at this efficiency. Only eight crashes out of 40 cars. What a great record that in real life I would definitely be very proud of. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I know I, I really like uh, so I, I really like the efficiency of things. Anyway, unrelatedly though, so I've been I'm I'm here in a in a place. Okay, oh <laughs> damn it, <laughs> I actually failed. But 40 drivers is a lot to ask for. Can we all just can we all acknowledge that right now for anything else? Okay, we can. Okay, so let's let the cars through first of all. No questions asked. Let this car through. No questions asked. Let this car through. And we want to, like, as soon as there's a backlog, things get messy. So let's not let there be a backlog. Let's just always be looking at both junctions and the traffic gaps and where they are. And then... Okay. You should have stopped that one before it happened, really. But that's fine. You know what? Can't break an omelette without making a few eggs. That is, that is how the slogan goes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it works, at least. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I've, um, I've been here in, uh, Nevada, where it's been 40 degrees Celsius, that's incredibly hot. And, uh, I've, I've been learning a few things about, like, temperature since I've been here. Because most of the time, whenever I heard that someone, like, one of the things that's common in the UK is people have been like, Oh, I want to move somewhere else where there's more sun. A lot of, you know, like, people move to LA. Partly because of the, you know, like, oh yeah, there's the Hollywood. Like, because I guess obviously I'm, my, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, so I have a lot of YouTube related friends and like uh, contacts and stuff. And a lot of those people like love LA, like, oh, it's so sunny all the time. Don't you love that? And it's like, no, actually, I don't love. Oh my god, I am bad at this game. <laughs> but I've, I, like, my, my aunt was like, why do you like the sun? The sun is this thing that comes out of the sky and it burns you. It is literally. A ball of fire. Is it, who, who's ever been like, you know what? I love ovens. I wish they were hotter. And like, you know that feeling you get when you open the oven and it burns your face off? I wish I could have that like, all the time. That's how I've always like mentally seen people who like moving to sunny places. In the UK, Spain is a very common uh, destination for both holidays and for moving. Yeah, I think we just have to like slide in the gaps every time between these cars. I think if we just go one by one with each junction, even though it feels less efficient, we're causing fewer crashes, which is much more efficient when you think about it. You know, not causing crashes is a very efficient way to have a highway system set up, apparently. Um, but yeah, so um, I, I, I never understood people who did that. But one of the things I guess I've kind of got from here is like, you know what? If we take this down a few degrees, because something about being super non-humid, like uh, the humidity here is like 0%, it's literally a desert. It's been 150 days in Las Vegas without rain, um, as of me recording this, which is kind of crazy um, for me to really think about. Um, one of the cool things about having a place of such low humidity is like, oh yeah, you can actually like deal with a slightly higher temperature, and then once, once you can deal with it, it becomes like this nice thing, almost, almost, I'm not... I'm not quite sold on like, yeah, I love the sun. I would totally move somewhere where there's sun just because I love the sun that much. That's not where I'm at uh, just yet. Um, but where I am almost at, come on. Okay. Gonna slide in some more cars between these gaps because they're getting mad. No! <laughs> I'm just too bad at this one level. That's that's what it is. I, I Again, I've got to focus one, then the other, one, then the other, one, then the other. It's gonna be okay. But um, anyway, so back to my point. Um, and one of the things I kind of got when I was here is like, you know, I can kind of see it. Like, one of the, like, being hot is objectively worse than being cold in a natural setting. Like, if you're cold, put on a coat or something, right? It's really, really easy. If you're hot, what are you going to do? Take off another layer of clothing? Oh, you're already naked and you're hot? Oh, I guess, I guess your life sucks, doesn't it? Like, the, it's just over for you um, if you want to have a reasonably climate-controlled body, right? Um... You know, it's just it's just game over. Like, sorry, sorry for trying. Um, <laughs> no, okay, this this is this is uncomfortably bad. Okay, we we'll try one more one more time, and then we'll just play chaos mode or something. And admit, but I can't even do level five of this game or something. Um, but yeah, I, I I like being hot is objectively worse than being cold. But something I've realized is being just a little bit hot 
is better than being just a little bit cold. Being just a little bit hot, you mitigate by walking a bit slower, you mitigate by just wearing a t-shirt. Once you know it's always going to be either slightly too hot, very hot, or like just kind of hot, you can always wear pretty much whatever you want like the, that that that's real nice that's what i like about uk summers is you just wear whatever you want outside want to wear a hoodie you can get away with it want to wear just a t-shirt guess what the weather's perfect for that too like i i, I like the the I, li I like the freedom that comes with a certain degree of weather if you forgive that uh american uh vibe that i'm giving off when i say that but um oh god we gotta let a car through there and then i missed a giant gap on the left here because of that Okay, we're gonna focus. Oh god, oh lord, I'm missing so many gaps. Okay, gap there, gap there. Oh no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard to like tap yellow for two cars. Like I wish that was a thing we could just do by itself. Oh lord. Oh damn it. Okay, that wasn't a real fail. That was a controller fail. That that's not me. I'm very good at this game. The game the game failed me. I didn't fail the game. But yeah, like, um, there's something kind of nice about that. I'm being like, oh yeah, imagine in the winter, it's like, never gonna get too cold, right? Like, I, I think there's a certain thing about heat where I'm still always gonna be on the side of like, yeah, I'd prefer to live somewhere where it's mild always. But if you had to pick between somewhere where it gets too hot and somewhere where it gets too cold, I can kind of see the argument for too hot. Like, the sun is technically good for you, right? Vitamin D is a vitamin that people are always talk about wanting or needing or something like that. Um, and, you know, in, in the case where you need, uh, you know, some sunlight in your life, you know what? I don't, I don't, I, I don't hate the, the American system where, like, they, again, in, in nature, being too, too hot is objectively worse than being too cold because you can't deal with it. In, you know, in, in a rich country, in a country where you've got uh, money for it, you know what the system is? Air conditioning. You make, you make the hot places cold. You know, in, in, in Spain, the, it's it's very, very hot. They have a siesta from, like, 12 to 2, right? In America, it's just like, nah, let's blast up that AC some more. It It is genuinely cold inside this apartment right now. I, I am. It is a sweltering hot day uh, right now. I'm a little bit chilly inside here. I love that. It's kind of like bringing my home with me. Like, oh, yeah, I like being slightly too cold because you can always warm up very easily. You can't cool down. But you can get that feeling, and uh, indeed, even a bus, like, you know, buses in America, like, don't have the best reputation. Even buses, very ac you know, I, obviously, this is Las Vegas. Want to go into a casino? Better believe it'll be ac seed. Anywhere public I want to go, a supermarket, I, I'm, I'm trying to name it. What, what other places do people even want to go to? But anywhere you want to go is a seed. It's even legally required in the Southwest. And because of that legal requirement for AC, it means even when you're hot and you know like, oh, it hurts so badly, you can be cool within minutes. I was in this random, uh, I, w I went for a walk yesterday in this random part of, hey, we did it for once. Look at that. Only eight accidents, which is one fifth of all drivers. You could say that's pretty bad and most people would, but not me, friends. So let's try Moscow and, um, oh God, what? This is simple, right? This is just, the, the other lanes are there to trick you, but it's really quite- Oh, and then there's the gap in the middle, which makes it harder to see. Uh, when, uh, you, like, you can't see right now on a car is, you've got to, like, kind of telegraph where the traffic- You've got to know where the traffic is ahead of time. But, fortunately, I can pay attention to you. I- I do have an attention span sometimes. Um, so slide in there, and then slide in there, and then we'll slide another one through there too, why not? And then just after that. Yeah, by knowing where the gaps are ahead of time, you can achieve a lot more. And knowing if it's big enough for a car, or a small car, or a big car, or whatever. Or a lorry, I guess these big things are. Or because I'm in America, a truck. <laughs> See, look at me, I can, I can Americanize so well. You know, why, why, I'm basically already a, oh, okay, oh, you can cause a lot of accidents. I guess because it's a four-lane road. Um, trucks can cause much, much more devastation than you'd otherwise expect. But yeah, um, ooh, that was very close. I, I, being able to, like, AC everywhere, uh, kind of takes the benefits of being too cold and puts it everywhere. Like, maybe, maybe it's not too cold in the AC. Maybe the AC is literally a bit too strong. But I always feel when I go inside, like, man, it is cold here. And I, I love that. I love that feeling of being too hot and being cooled down. Because it's not a common one. Again, I, AC just isn't very common in Europe, if you don't know. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's considered very expensive, wasteful, blah, 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 blah. Um, not unlike some people in certain parts of North America, I'm sure, see it. You know, I can't do 80 cars. I, I do not have 
their appetite for this. We're gonna go back to level select. We're gonna see how many there are and how many we actually did. Like, how big is this game? Oh, this game is huge. Look how many cities there are. With Warsaw being the hardest, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, so there, there are a lot of levels. Can we get all the stars is part of the equation. Uh, and honestly, I wanna see what Chaos Mode is. Because otherwise, this is, this is a fun game, sure. Wait, how do I even know where Chaos Mode is, right? I guess you have to unlock Chaos Mode. Okay, so we're gonna go back. There's no go back on this game, which is really dumb when you think. You know, whatever. Okay, so you just you have to go into the... Again, this is a cool game idea that I feel like they didn't scale up enough. Being able to, like, make your own stuff. We've got to find a freestyle level. So, Rome, I can play in Chaos Mode. What is Chaos Mode? Is the light going to change itself, I'm assuming, and I have to fix it? I don't know, there's, like, emergency vehicles that, for some reason... What? What is the emergency? I don't get it. Like, do they just... Are they already in road rage mode? Like, what's 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 the challenge here? I, am I missing it? Do they... Are they not allowed to wait at all? I mean, they clearly can wait, because otherwise there's no game. Do they go faster than other cars? That could be fun, right? Oh, Oh, you can't have a single... Make sure police cars get to their destination safely. Also, you just can't waste a single police car. Honestly, that's not really chaos. That's just... Like, that's how you're meant to play the base game anyways. There's just... Do the same, but with no mess-ups. Because I unlock this game mode by having no mess-ups. So it'd be really weird for it to be do the same, but with no mess-ups. But you know, I'm wanting to give it benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's a good game mode. But anyway, yeah. Um, traffic, what I think of the game so far. Because you know, the quest on this channel is always to find good mobile games that I'm like, down to play. It's like a genre that is like infested by like, oh, yeah, this isn't fun. This is just a way to extract money from me. Um... Okay. Uh, what do I think of this game overall? I think it's a fun, solid, like, pick it up, play casually for a few minutes game. And I think that's most of what people want on Android. They want a game that... Okay. <laughs> most people want a game that is this simple and casual and easy to pick up and stuff. But I think sometimes... Okay, I'm gonna learn from this mistake. And then go, like... Yeah, based on the little, like, pausing... I know, I, I now know when it's safe to let the vehicle through. That's an example. Look, look what a gap there is. Even if they're, even if they're parallel as they're going in, it's still a-ok -okay to let the police cars go. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, um, okay, can we do this one? We could have let the the police car through there. I was just scared. I was just, I was just terrified of doing it. And now I pay the costs of that. Could have let the police car through there too. Also, ooh, why are there so many police cars? Is there a big? Is there like a big terror incident? Like, what's what's of this many? I, I'm concerned by the number of police that are needed here. At what point should I do the right thing and stop the police getting to their destination? Because like, they're clearly sending too much for the for the one job here. But anyway, yeah, um, I, as far as this game, I'd say it's like, it's it's fun in that casual pick it up kind of way. And that's, that's most of what you need in Android, right? That's most what you're getting for. Is it really transport related? I mean, I'd argue in the loosest way, yes. Is that good enough? I'd argue in the loosest way, sure. Um, if you're looking for a game that's about actually managing traffic, I don't know that this counts as that, necessarily. Yeah, and also it, like, the fact that there is no proper UI mode, ooh, colorblind mode. The fact that there's no proper UI mode, the fact that, like, I don't even know how to get from here to the menu. Is, is there such an option? Oh, there is, you can scroll back. Also, Las Vegas was a city choice. That's cool. I'd love to see the very latest, like, actually, if I, if I, like, pick, can I see it? No, I can't. But yeah, Las Vegas is, uh, is one of the options soon. And by soon, I mean, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, that's not, it's like eight, eight levels away. I'm not that motivated. But I might play this game some more after this. Let me know what you think in the comments that are, have already synced. Wait, let me know what you think and leave your comment in the sink. That's not what I'm going for at all. Thank you for watching, third channel. Don't care.